Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. It's another beautiful day here on the farm. It's a little later on in the day. We've been busy. We've been building a fence. And uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about our strawberries in the high tunnel. Well, we're getting ready to plant strawberries in the high tunnel. But then we're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys how we got the soil ready and everything ready to go for the strawberries in the high tunnel. So as you guys see here, everything is complete. So Monday uh, morning, I came out here I was working alone, so it took a lot longer. I was going to film everything, but then I just completely forgot the GoPro inside the warehouse there. So we went ahead and ripped out all the, uh, the fabric there. We kept the fabric for next year. Took all the T-posts out, cleaned it up, took out, took out all the weeds and stuff. So as you guys know, strawberries require a lot of nitrogen whenever you're growing them, especially out in the field. And uh, what I did to prepare the soil in here, so I went ahead and rototilled it once. No, I didn't rototill it at all. That was after we got done. So when we got done pulling everything out, I went ahead and bring some compost and some turkey manure and put a good, you know, two to three inches of turkey manure here on the bottom. And you can see here, I mean, there's just a compost turkey manure mixed in between here. So then we rototillered it. And then I have a friend from the farmer's market. He bought a special machine that he has a tiller and then he lays plastic mulch all at once. And uh, how that machine works, as you guys see here, it just, it's a five foot plastic. He just rototilled it. And I, I, sh I should have filmed it. I'm just, I just forgot about it. I was kind of stressing out. I wanted to know how it works out and everything, so I didn't pull out the camera. But I took a few pictures. I'm going to put a few pictures of his tractor and everything. So the, the whole intent, it's a plastic mulch layer. It's a compact plastic mulch layer with a tiller behind it. And it lays everything on in one pass here. So uh, there are five rows in here with a four foot uh, five foot plastic. But there's a four foot raised bed here. So I'm going to go ahead and put... Uh, I'm still debating about putting three or four rows on each row here. I might just go with three. I mean, we'll see. And uh, to put the strawberries in here, so I'll probably just do one, two, three, or just put, I don't know. We'll, we'll still figure it out. But then after we got done planting all of the field strawberries, I went ahead and ordered, uh, called McNip, and uh, I ordered another 3,000 plants because we needed some more to put in here. And uh, we have another two empty rows out there in the field that we could complete. So we have another 3,000 plants coming in. So that's going to be a total of 35,000 plugs, strawberry plants that will be planted here on the farm. So I'm hoping to fit about, about another uh, 2,000 in here, 2,000 plants in here. So the whole goal about the high tunnel strawberries and, you know, this is, this is our intent with the strawberries, you know. We're going to go ahead and plant them in here and they will bloom a lot earlier just because it's going to be a lot warm in here. So we're hoping to have ripe strawberries about the middle of April and we're going to go ahead and take those to the farmer's market. And go ahead and promote the U pick out in the field so that whenever you know we get our customers all hyped up about strawberries in the middle of April, by the time those first five rows of Roccos are ready, you know, we're gonna go ahead and open up to U pick. And then, we, of course, we have the 25,000 of the Chandlers that'll be about they'll, they'll peak about the middle of, of, of May there. So, that's our whole goal and intent of, uh, of the high tunnel strawberries here. And then, once we're done with these strawberries here, we're gonna go ahead and take them out and then go ahead and plant our tomatoes here. So, we're gonna go ahead and double crop. The uh, this soil in here in the high tunnel and just double crop the, uh, the 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 land in here. So that's the whole idea and the whole intent of us doing high tunnel strawberries. And it just keeps uh, some growing over the winter in here and just keeps us a little busier than what we already are. So uh, yeah. So now the strawberry plants are coming in tomorrow. So we're gonna go ahead and plant. I still gotta plant the drip irrigation system and everything up, but I'll just do that when the plants get here. So, uh, so that is all of the soil prep we did in here. I mean, it's not too complicated. It's not too, uh, you know, just just keep it simple, make it work. So in here, you know, since it's a lot warmer, we go ahead and plant them a little later. So by the first of October, they should be planted in here. So that's our goal behind that. So uh, I had Isaac film some stuff yesterday. He was fixing the ends of the rows there because the tractor couldn't go all the way out. So I'm going to go ahead and put up that footage here of him working. I hope it's good. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, he's a little better looking than I am. So, I mean, you guys might like him better than me. So, uh, anyway, so guys, enjoy that footage and uh, I'm going to get back to work here. What is going on, everybody? It's your man Isaac here, one of your favorite, favorite right? So, huh, I grabbed Andre's GoPro today. So, he was complaining last night about he's not getting any likes or any lot of views, you know. And I thought about it for like five seconds, like... I should grab his GoPro and make a video. So today, I'm gonna be doing this, so I'm gonna tell you about what we did yesterday. So yesterday, Andre and I, we uh, we took out all the plastic that was here for the tomatoes last season. We took out the drip tape, everything, we took it out. We tillered it all, then 
one of our neighbors uh he has a small tractor thing jig with the mulch layer and uh yeah from front of the mulch layer he has like a tiller thing which makes it dirt all nice and smooth or soft and he puts it underneath the red plastic so yesterday he did that and he kind of stopped up to here you know because he can't get up think about that you know so andre already did that one so my job here today is to put on the mulch layer and i put on the plastic stuff over i already made the beds really while well. andre was doing something and uh so my job right now is to pull the drip tape all the way there the plastic over and that is it Well, I ain't no fancy tractor, so <laughs> I hope this works, you know. Hope the wind don't take it away. It won't, so put plenty of dirt there, so drip tape's long enough. So everything will be good, so hopefully will hold all the strawberries. So we're going to be planting strawberries in here, about three plants per row, so we'll see what's going to happen. So hope Farmer Dre likes how I did these. Probably not, you know. Let's see. Well... That's all I have for today. I don't know. Hope you guys subscribe, like this video, I guess. Don't know what else to say. So, yeah, good. So now what we are doing out here, we're building a fence. So we went ahead and took out all this fencing here. So we're going to be planting apples here next uh, spring. So we are building a fence from right there, that corner post, all the way up to my corner post over there. And just kind of clearing up about three acres of land here. So uh, the boys have been busy. They just got one of our pumpkins there and... Uh, on the hitch there but the uh we've already put in they oh i put in two corner posts well, i actually only put in one because i had to leave and uh they put in two so now we're gonna go ahead and put our third one in here so uh fourth one fourth one fourth 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 t post uh corner post can't even speak this morning but yeah It'll be a uh 14 and 12 foot gate here plenty of clearance to go out and to, to brush hog and whatnot but yeah And the gate's behind you. <laughs> really, Isaac? Really? Don't show off my muscle like that. You know I have a lot of those. <laughs> okay. Baiting her hard. Level. Level. Oh. Alrighty, so now I'm out here in the strawberries. Just want to show you guys a little bit of uh, the strawberries and how they've been progressing. So these first five rows are the Roccos, and these are the rest of them here are Chandlers. So these have been in the ground for a week and two days, a week and two days, I believe. So you can see here, they've already started to grow there. That's, those are the new leaves that just came up. So that one and this one, they all grew this, this past week. So they got their roots established there, growing nicely. I mean, beautiful, beautiful on these Roccos and these Chandlers are doing the same thing here. I mean, you can see new leaves coming up. Those crowns are developing. And uh, we got the end of rye grass growing in between the rows. So everything is uh, going smoothly. I mean, like you guys know, these plants, the rock, the channelers are just a little bigger, a little leggier, but that's fine. I mean, they were, I think I talked to Andy and he said they're, uh, these were six week old plants and these are four week plants. And uh, I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. The smaller plants are just a little easier to transplant to maneuver but overall they should be all right but overall i mean the field is looking good and uh you can see the grass growing especially right there but then we have some grass growing right here as well all that tiny grass so helps out with soil erosion just helps down keep the plastic down so yep strawberries are growing i mean beautiful plants just absolutely amazing so 
it's that time of year all we got to do is come, come here and fertilize them water them keep them managed keep the deer out of them we should be good to go for next year so so one good thing about this plastic and the new mulch here we got so on sunday afternoon we got a, a big storm came through we got about three quarter inch rain and we had 20 mile an hour winds and uh not a single row of plastic came undone so that's just that's just proved that the machine was just well worth it just from that aspect aspect i remember last year even before we started planting a few rows came undone when we had a 10 12 mile an hour wind but this year we got a 20 mile an hour wind and the plastic is stayed in place so we uh we're happy about that i mean if i don't have to fix another row cover in my life i got another row another plastic row i'll be i'll be the happiest farmer out there but yeah 20 mile an hour wind the plastic stayed put and everything is is going nicely you know so i'm excited i'm happy everything's going as it should be so yep all right so we are out here now beating in the t-post for the uh so what we're doing here we're not building any fill fence we're building just a three uh three wire electric fence there's going to be a high tensile electric fence and the reason is this is not a permanent fence i mean in the future if we ever expand down the valley we got some nice clear land down there i'll, I'll just show you guys you know so uh we're just doing that because if we ever need to take it out or anything like that it'll be a lot easier to do that than trying to do electric fence so i thought about planting a few uh, we could do more things down here but you know a great vineyard and you could plant a good half acre of grapes down there there's like good eating table grapes to do that there so I'm, my mind's always thinking trying to accumulate as much land as possible but yeah we're gonna just continue working here we're gonna go ahead and leave our cattle down here to uh run this pasture i mean it's been it's been growing there's quite a bit of uh quite a bit of tonnage of forage out here so overall it's going smoothly we still got a lot of t-posts to put in we're putting them in at every 25 foot so uh with the hydraulic post driver it's going pretty smoothly so overall not too bad we got a lot of rock on top of the hill here so yeah it's going so this is where i'm going to go ahead and end off the video for today the boys are going to continue working here uh like i said you know there's just uh hopefully getting the ground before too long just to go ahead and let the cows eat this pasture because i don't want to brush hog it anymore so this is going to be pretty much it for today i mean we have to make apple cider for tonight so it's it for you guys but it's not it for me i'm actually going to go try to sneak away from the boys here don't tell them and uh, start cleaning the cider room that's what just takes the longest is just you know clean up and i mean sanitizing everything the machines getting everything ready to go and uh, for the ones that are uh, interested in how we make our cider you know i can make videos on the videos and just you know how many times we make cider throughout the season but it's the same machines it's the same process there's no point of of just boring you guys to death with the same videos there but if you guys want to go ahead and see some of the cider videos just go ahead and click through you know a couple of videos back and you guys would uh get to see what i make for our cider but this is gonna be pretty much it for today if you guys haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button fun fact i just looked at some uh some of my analytics here and in the last 28 days 68 percent of my viewers aren't even subscribed what are you guys waiting for you know it's like it's free it doesn't cost anything so you know it helps out the channel of course and uh i set a goal you know i, I want to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year so if you guys uh, want to help me out go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video i want to say thanks for watching up to this point you guys have a good day i'm gonna go make some apple cider but we'll see you next time